Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, Kovu and I just wanted to make a video and let you all know that uh, I am alive. I apologize ahead of time for, I guess, my pretty much complete disappearance from YouTube. I've been quite busy. Um, as some of you know, I recently was in Haifa completing a year of religious service and I returned in August and from there I took a few extra courses that I thought would be interesting because I made a change in what I wanted to go or pursue in my university career. So as I was saying, um, what I've been doing is basically working now that those courses are done in that first semester and um, I'm looking for full-time work right now. I'm still part-time working at a company called Zellers that's actually closing in September, at least our location. So I've been really busy trying to find new work. And uh, yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. And things have like slowed down again. And I'm really going to be focusing on making more videos. Um, I've applied to a few places. Things are looking better. And yeah, so those videos will be coming. In terms of plants, guys, I need to be honest with you that although I do have quite an array of different uh, diverse species of plants, I unfortunately, my carnivorous plant collection is kind of dwindling. I still have a lot of Nepenthes and um, one ping Pinguicula morinensis, the Mexican butterwort, as well as my Cephalotus, which actually went into shock and almost died completely but now it's made a good comeback it's growing new leaves so I don't want to like lie to you and give you hopes that there's going to be all these exciting videos on carnivorous plants I don't have a greenhouse anymore it was it was very costly for electricity and um, yeah so I do have a few different animals that I can show you all soon um, so I mean Kovu is always here I also have my leopard geckos and I have a white tree frog now that I haven't shown you. He's really cool. He's a cute little guy. And also, yeah, so I, the next few videos I want to make, one of them is going to be about um, plant cuttings and how beneficial they can be to making an enclosure quite attractive as well as how easily they can be created or like propagated. So that's coming up real soon in terms of plants. So we're going to be looking at how to remove cuttings from a mother plant, how to stimulate root growth, and then how to actually plant them and the timing and care between those processes. So it should be fun. Also, in terms of tarantula updates, I should be honest with you that I have begun to focus a lot more on tarantula keeping. So I hope that doesn't offend a lot of you. There are still going to be a lot of reptile videos, but the bulk of my animal collection consists of tarantulas. So that's just to be bluntly honest. Um, I will be doing a video soon. As you know, I have had two egg sacs in my tarantula keeping career, and both of them didn't work. One was from a Salmopoeus erminia, the Venezuelan sun tiger, and that was on Christmas Day, and the female actually consumed the egg sac before Boxing Day. So the following day, which was really upsetting, but it may have been infertile, we don't know. And then the other was from the, uh, was from the Lassiodora Parahabana, Salmon Pink Bird Eater female. And that's, there's a video on that, it's called Dud Sack, the last video I made on my iPhone. And unfortunately that one dried out. She didn't wrap it well and she got some dirt in it. And I knew something was wrong with it. Like it was getting really weird and she would like drop it and such. And it was very hard. So anyhow, now about, I'm keeping track of it on my calendar. It's, uh, we're on, we're on day seven. Just about day seven. My avicularia specimen uh, I have an Avicularia metallica female that I paired up back in January. She dropped a sack and it looks really good and she's been a real good mother. 
and I'll give you guys a quick video on that later. So that's really exciting because hopefully that may be my very first successful attempt at breeding tarantulas. And then aside from that, we still have the paired Gramostola aristriata or pole stripes. The Chaco Golden E, and she's kind of just sitting there. We don't know if she's going to drop a sack. That's the one I'm doing a breeding loan. Or I did the breeding loan with John. And so she may drop. She stopped eating. She's been digging around a lot. She hides. and So maybe soon there'll be something good there too. And then we have the three P Metallicas. The male hasn't matured out, fortunately. The females look like they may be in pre-molt, and one of them should be reaching adulthood. So that's really good too. Anyway, anyways guys, so that's just a quick update I wanted to give you. And sorry again for my like really my disappearance. But uh yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well, having an enjoyable year. We've been getting some ridiculously mild weather lately for March, like high twenties and it's gone back down, which is not too good because all the trees have started making leaves, but it's going back up again, so it's good. We might be able to do some Canadian herping videos soon. Alright guys, thanks very much for watching. More videos on the way, probably even today. <laughs> Funny how that rhymed. Okay, take care. Bye!